Hey Dolly friends, it's me Holly and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing a Cruiselings Chloe. Now this is really awful you guys. My husband got me this girl for Valentine's Day, February. And it's July. <laughs> It's been a long time and I've yet to unbox this girl. So it's long overdue and we're going to do it today. Now, the other thing I'm very curious about with the Cruise Links, which is, uh, if you're not familiar, it is a smaller articulated doll put out by um, the Kathy Cruz company. And they have been around since the early 1900s making various dolls, mostly cloth and really beautifully sculpted cloth dolls, paper mache, just beautiful. And so they've recently in the last several years branched out into the more vinyl and plastic doll lines, children, baby dolls. And so I've been very curious to have one of these girls myself. They're kind of spendy though. So you gotta watch and see if they get on sale ever. But let's bust into those. Oh, sorry, I totally, <laughs> The whole one of the other things I'm really interested in is I want to see if this pretty turquoise outfit here might fit my summer. This is my summer Blythe. She is well, I got her last summer, an AliExpress Blythe, but oh, I just adore this girl. I gave her some little freckles last year, just real faint, and so I thought I would see how the outfit from the Cruiselings might fit the Blythe, the AliExpress Blythe body. Not the traditional one, but the full articulated one. So let's go ahead and take a look. Before I open it completely, I thought I would show you all the different characters that they have available. You can get these on Amazon, which is where my husband's got Chloe. Some of them come as just the doll in the one outfit, while others come in more deluxe sets that have multiple accessories and second outfits. And then of course, Michael, he's really adorable. I've seen him in person. He comes with a soccer ball. I think most of these characters are all the deluxe versions. These are their deluxe outfits. So we've got Sophia, Vera, Luna, Chloe, Joy, and Michael. There's also a really cute little cowgirl I almost bought uh, at one point. She comes with little boots and a plaid shirt with red hair. So she might be one I get here in a little while, but they're like $40. And it's just a lot of money. <laughs> okay, let's take her out and take a look. Okay, so the first thing we're going to look at is the little booklet that comes with the doll. It kind of shows you, oh, it has a map here that shows you where in the world these different dolls might live. So Chloe is in North America. Very fun, I love that. Okay, so it has a little blurb about each of the characters. I think that's really neat. It really helps you connect with the dolls. This one was a really cute one. I do like her quite a bit. Joy, her little flower outfit. So cute. Michael. Okay, where's my doll? Yeah. There she is. Chloe. I don't know. She's, she's not very photogenic. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't be negative. Okay, and the back. Oh, so the back shows you all the different pieces they make, I guess, for the doll. So there's different versions of Joy. I also really like this version. I love her hair in that with the gold. And then you can see the different ways that they're marketed, which I think is nice. I guess it's like a checklist. Wow, that girl gets a lot of different outfits. And then there's Chloe. Okay, here's the country girl I was telling you about. I think this might actually be Chloe. So Chloe gets quite a few outfits as well. That's neat. Ooh, she has a camera. Oh, that's fun. I like the camera. As far as I can tell, sometimes they sell separate outfit packs, but not very often, not from Amazon anyway. So I suppose if you go to the Cruise Slings, the Kathy Cruz website, you might be able to get more. I'm not really sure. Okay, let's look at the doll first. She is a fairy, purple. She has her little wand here. It is removable. I like the little details, the filigree. And then her wings are removable. Yeah, so they're kind of like a 
backpack style. That's cool because then other dolls can wear them, which I really like. And then her outfit is kind of a satiny material with sparkles, a little heart there. I love the skirt. Got a sheer with gold or silver all the way around. She has underwear. That's always good. It's like three layers there. Her body is articulated. The neck. So you'll notice the neck joint actually goes down here at the torso. So it is a little different than some other dolls. The eyes are inset, which I really love. Pretty green. The red hair. It's nice hair. It feels nice. And then, so let's go ahead. I'll look at her shoes and then we're going to look at her body. They're just plastic shoes. Oh man, that's going to be... <laughs> Why did they do that? That's so hard to get all that off. We're going to take a look at her body here. I'm only going to remove one shoe. Okay, so we got the neck. Now, first thing I notice is the, the plastic in the arms and the body are different colors. That is really weird. I don't really like that. She's not going to be able to pull off shorts very easily without raising some questions. <laughs> okay, so the elbow bends. That's about as far as the elbow will bend. The wrist, the wrist can bend. That's pretty good. So she can, she can think. Can she be surprised? <gasps> oh no. Kind of. Eek. So there's definitely some fun there. You know, this is for, for young kids. It's not really for the high articulated collector type. So it's a good range, I think. And then the knee is not double jointed. And she does have ankle articulation. I'm going to get her dressed again and then we're going to try it, take a look at this other outfit and try it on Summer. Her head's awfully wobbly. She needs freckles. Girl needs freckles. We'll be right back. So let's take a look at this outfit and its accessories. It has a pink velvety bag with like a little green bow leaf thing on it. It's Velcro closure with some satin. That's nice. And it, it's functional. It's very cute. And then uh, the dress is a sleeveless, like a sundress. Pretty simple, but really cute with this really nice little overcoat. Double button overcoat. I really like that. It's a really nice quality. Has the little strap there and a collar. So that's going to be fun. I'm going to put that on summer. Really quickly though, I got her dressed and I did give her some freckles. Ah, that's what she was missing. Girl's gotta have freckles. I might have to put a band on her head though to get those bangs to come down a bit more. All right, well, the outfit fits so cute. I mean, it's adorable on summer. Even the mud boots fit. They're probably a little big, but they go on just fine. Um, I think the dress is probably a little shorter than what they intended for the Krusling dolls, but I love it. Now I added a little velvet ribbon to the waist to kind of tie in the pink just a bit more. And the jacket though, I mean, look at that. It fits almost perfectly on the sleeve. I didn't even have to pop her hands off to get the hands in. And then I did the bag as a little crossbody. And I have this little flower headpiece that I made for Petunia, a fairy uh, blythe that I, I made a while back. But I thought it just worked really well with her outfit. Isn't she darling? Oh, I love it. She's so cute. And then you can see here, I took her hair out. If I were to compare the two, so the Krusling is shorter than the Blythe for sure. Other than that though, I mean, it's really not a problem with the length, so cute. I'm very curious about, and, and it fit perfect. Like it wasn't too tight, wasn't too big. I'm, I'm curious about maybe the, the pants and other outfits. This one, as you can see, it is shorter, so it could be really short on her, but as a fairy, they tend to wear really short dresses, so it could be perfect. I'm very excited. Uh, I'm going to have to look and see what other kind of uh, fashion packs they might have for Krooslings, see if I can get some on sale. And the wings also worked too. I tried those on and they clipped on pretty easily. These, these are going to be universal for a lot of dolls, so that's really exciting. Anyway, so that is the Krooslings Articulated Dolls. And will it fit Blythe? Yes, it will. I would love to hear your thoughts. Please like, comment, subscribe, and tell me what you think 
about the outfit. Have you ever had a cruising or um, are you familiar with them? What outfit packs do you have? I'd be curious to know what your favorite is. Anyway, that's all for me and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye.